Now we will address issues with the hydraulic section of this 6 horsepower air drive pump model GSF60. Remember, all 6, 8, and 14 inch air drive pumps use the same air valve and will require the same maintenance procedures regardless of piston size. To access the hydraulic section, you must first cut and remove the lock wire with wire cutters. Next, remove the hydraulic body by loosening the four bolts from the air drive. Before removing the hydraulic body, be sure to have rags or paper towels available to catch the excess fluid that may be retained inside. This reveals the piston rod where many of the seal replacement kit parts are located. Here is the piston head and its seal package. Inside of this section is the internal check valve. To access these internal parts, you will need to remove the roll pin located here and the other roll pin located down here. Use a nail set or other long object to hammer out the roll pins. Once you remove the roll pin, you can unscrew the nut on top. Now you can inspect the seal package parts from the piston head. Here is the O-ring and the extrusion ring with the bevel facing down toward the O-ring. Next, the cup seal and the bearing. The order and position of these parts is illustrated in your seal kit instructions. Now let's unscrew the piston head itself to reveal the inner check valve. Inside you will find the ball. Inspect this and the inner pin for scratches, pits, or other signs of wear. If you find damaged parts, you need to order them separately. They will not be included in your seal kit. If you are performing a full reseal of the hydraulic section, you will need to remove the other hydraulic section and packing as well. 